This is Software 1 Remote Access Code. The remote access code is used when uploading and downloading information from a computer to the fire alarm control panel. As seen here in this transfers window, it is asking for a username and password. The default from the factory is Potter Potter. This can easily be changed in the software to ensure only authorized personnel have access to the panel. When looking at the software, you'll see that at the top, the very first tab says Remote Access Code. This is where you can change the username and password from the default of Potter Potter. For example purposes, I'm going to change this to Potter1 Potter1. The username and password can be different. Any alphanumeric code can be used. Once this change has been made, I can download this information into the Fire Alarm Control Panel. Bringing up the Transfers window, you'll see that the new username and password that I have programmed has now been captured as Potter1 Potter1. The first time I download this program into the Fire Alarm Control Panel, you'll need to change it back to the original username and password. The panel that you're trying to communicate with has not received the file where we have changed the username and password, so it is still looking for the previous username and password. Now I can download this into the fire panel and from that point forward you can use the new username and password as programmed in the software. The next video in the software series is job details. For more information on programming please refer to the installation manual and find other resources on our website www.pottersignal.com.